We have our first tier 13 turret, the Helix Launcher, which should be able to help stop the Barons, which coiners are hitting you with a fleet of five. I also want to remind you as we get started before I show you the build that all of this stuff is going to be available in my builds document, which you can click and access through the link in the description of my two videos. Big thanks to the channel members who are helping support this and making that stuff possible, but more on that later. All you have to do is copy and paste this hash code into your turret. Let's go ahead and get into the build. And again, you can just click share and paste in the hash code and that's all you need to do. I'll talk about the turret, the specials you want to equip, the specials you want to equip if you don't have your defense platform up to tier 18 and you can't have quite as high power, and then talk about a few other things. Obviously, this is a heavy turret, so in the current game, you need to have a HT Transformer. Nothing too much you can do about that one. And of course, the weapon is the Helix Launcher. Overall, this thing is pretty powerful. Keep in mind, we did have the stat compression recently, so that 1 million shockwave damage and 200k base damage is actually relatively high and should start to hurt holes with low radioactive defense, specifically the Baron. I'm guessing the next conqueror hole people get is going to have a lot higher uh, radioactive defense. Now, just to, to tell you again how shockwaves work, if you get 15 stacks on one ship, you get uh, 1 million shockwave damage in a pretty big area to all the other ships around them, which should help out when people are stacking up and rushing your bases. Generally, one shot is one stack, but you can increase this through supercharge, and a 3x supercharge means you only need now five projectiles to actually get the shockwave off, which should be pretty helpful. In terms of the specials, there's one or two that make a whole lot of sense initially, so let's just look at radioactive damage and go through our first comparison. The first thing one you want to use is radium reserves. There's not really too much debate about this one. Everything about this is great. More shockwave damage, more supercharge, more radioactive reload. It's a really nice special to use. You're going to want to use that one. The next one you want to use, you have to decide if you want a lot of accuracy or just a medium amount of accuracy. This turret has 250% base accuracy, which is a ton, which means that enemies who are attacking you need to get up to like 60-75% evade before it really starts to make a big difference. So accuracy is not really all that needed, and even if you just put on the plus 75 accuracy special, you will have plenty. So throw this one on here, it also has higher damage than the other one you could use, which is Atomic Focus. If people start hitting you with evade tanks, use Atomic Focus. If not, radioactive isotopes is completely fine. Higher damage, a little lower, lower accuracy, but you're probably going to hit 100% of the shots anyway against normal, standard, non-high evade tank ships. So that's the initial specials here that you want to get started with. The last thing you can do is start to increase a few other stats here, and the one that makes the most sense to me is Priority Targeting 2. Priority Targeting, if you're not familiar, targets the ship with the lowest health, also ignored subs back when we used to be able to tank with subs. And what this does is if, you, if one enemy ship comes in, it gets hit first, it's going to be focused by all, your, all of the turrets with Priority Targeting on there until it's dead. So... It actually is pretty, pretty, pretty helpful in PvP. It's kind of the opposite of the King Killer we see in PvE. I like this special a lot. There are other options, including radioactive reload from something like this frontline platform. If you don't think you want that extra 12% damage, which is pretty small and don't really value priority targeting, the reload might be the better option for you. That is just something to consider there. I personally don't think that 10% reload is very helpful. I'm going for the 12% damage, and that is kind of my loadout for this turret. In terms of the armor, I'm going to go for the current tier, which is tier 12. Tier 13 obviously will be better if that comes out, and put on some ballistic armor plates for that, because most people hitting bases these days are going to be using 3, 4, 5 barons, so you're going to want to put that on to help counter that one. That's the approach, and that's the build for one turret. There obviously is no time, really, that I took, because... Um, I am using base parts. Base parts, super helpful. If you don't have these, go hit a one base part target on the map. You can do it for like zero seconds damage with any fleet from the last three tiers. And that is how you build these things. Now, you may notice that this is on a tier 18 defense platform. If you are working on a tier 17 defense platform like this one, you're not actually going to be able to use the build I'm showing you here. You'll be over your power capacity by just a small amount. You could take this or solve this by taking off armor points, although that doesn't quite get you there. More importantly, you'll have to just take off priority targeting too, and that is more than enough. 
you'll be way underneath the power consumption and you'll be able to run this turret on tier 17, which will be completely fine. So for those of you who watch my upgrade video for Outpost 17 or 16 or whatever we're on, I did advise to do your front slash midline turrets first because our backline turrets are already pretty strong. And hey, I'm just going to say I was right on that one. So there's the quick build. And in terms of how to use this thing, I'm going to make sure I get base bars before starting this. In terms of how to use this, it does benefit from having multiple of them in overlapping ranges. The two I have here are pretty good, which means that every time someone comes into my channel right through this direction, these two turrets are going to both fire on him at basically the same time, and I'll be able to get a shockwave off pretty quickly. There are a few other tweaks I would want to do to my base for that one. It's not really currently up to snuff, but that's the general idea. You want to put these things close enough to each other that you have overlapping arcs, but not quite close enough that they all get splashed out by one shot or one volley from Barons, which by the way are splash. A few other quick base defense tips is you might want to make sure that you have mines around where your overlapping rings are. So maybe I move this mine over here to keep him stuck in the, the field there and taking damage from these turrets. You probably don't want to have them on your island because they are pretty low range, so you probably want to avoid that in general. It's also a good time to upgrade or it, rather to change your armors to make sure you are using the ballistic armor is rather the concussive. I know I've been usually wearing concussive for paragons or paragorns, but want to put on the concussive stuff or take off concussive, put on ballistic on all your turrets and stuff at that point. There is a very brief lesson in terms of how to equip and how to use the um, helix launcher. If that was helpful, go ahead and let me know with a comment below. I want to say thank you to everyone whose name appears on the end screen now. Welcome to new channel member Rod C. And as always, this is going to be Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.